everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel So Little Time and my name is Karen. So I hope you're all doing really well and thank you very much for joining me today. Today I'm here to talk to you about Project Dresser Girl 2024 and I'm sure you've already heard of this wonderful charitable cause. It's organised by Mari of Mari Sews. She takes it up a gear during the month of September whereby she challenges sewers to get involved in making dresses for girls who are living in extreme poverty. And I took part in this last year and made three gorgeous little dresses uh, which was actually a design by Alyssa of Thoughtful Creativity and she has come up trumps with another design again for this year as well so I just thought I'd share with you the challenge itself but there is a kickoff video that Mari has uploaded on her channel and that will give you all of the details um, about what type of dress that you need to make and who you need to contact uh, for your ambassador in your country um, but yeah I urge you all to get involved with this as it's a really nice time to sew for little girls who are in need of some dresses. So I'm obviously based in the UK. So the ambassador here um, is a lady called Jackie and she has provided um, her home address to basically send your dresses to once you've made them. And she also um, provides the labels as well at a cost. So I think they're only just about one pound something for um, a set of 10 labels. And I have ordered those, so they are on their way. And I will link her email address down below if you did want to contact her to get hold of some of the labels. Also to organize any dresses that you may well be sewing up to be sent off to her address. And she will then be sending them off um, adequately to the places where they need to get sent to. So just to give you a brief idea of what the dresses um, need to entail uh, to be able to be eligible to be donated, they need to be a dress that can be popped over the top of the head of the child. So it doesn't need to have any fastenings or enclosures as such. Um, so the only things that you can really incorporate into the design of the dress is fabric ties. So you can't use anything like buttons, zips, poppers, um, hook and eyes, velcro anything like that um it just has to be fabric ties if you are going to include some kind of closure um so also the fabric needs to be um of a natural fiber so you you know any kind of cotton blend really it it, it can have a, a form of polyester in it i think but ideally it needs to be just cotton and it needs to be something that isn't sheer as well and um, so your best bet is to use something that has got is quite a dense quality of cotton and they are asking you not to use any pillowcases um, they will not get donated if you make a dress out of a pillowcase so don't waste your time in doing that um, it also needs to incorporate at least one pocket and you need to include the label either on the pocket or around the shoulder area just so it is really visible that the child is actually being you know you can show that they are being looked after by the charity so I'm actually only going to be making one dress this year just purely because my time scale is really, really tight. Um, and I have picked out some fabric from my stash that I had already got um, from a previous project. And it is actually a remnant from um, a dress that I actually made last year for Project Dresser Girl as well. Um, I'll tell a lie, I've actually picked out two fabrics. So the first one is this lovely wax print fabric. Um, and as you can see, it's really colourful and it is really thick quality as well. So that's gonna be really hard wearing. So that'd be really suitable for the type of dress that I'm looking to make. And like I say, Alyssa from Thoughtful Creativity has come up with a really beautiful design again this year. And I'm gonna be trialing that one out. I made the one that she did last year. So if you check back on her channel, you will see the other versions that she's come up with for the past um, events. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to having a go at making another dress that she's created in this fabric here. So yeah, really nice and bright and colorful. Um, and it is just a popover dress. I think uh, in it does include some bias binding as well. I also have this other cotton fabric, which was initially from Minerva a long, long time ago. I made a dress for myself. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to maybe possibly using this one. If I do get time to make more than one dress, I obviously will do, but my time is really tight at the moment. Um, so if I just make one dress, I still will be happy with that because it, at least it dresses one little girl. Um, and I think Mari ended up having, I think a count of about I think she said 5,000 dresses last year donated. So she is looking to ramp that up a little bit to 7,000 this year. I think she's hoping for that. So yeah, do get on board with making some dresses if you have time um, and send them off to your local ambassador. But like I say, Mari has a kickoff video with all of the details that you need to know about. And she also has, I think, a blog post where it lists all of the ambassadors 
so hopefully you will find all that information there but I will list the UK person in the description box below for you also what I will say with regards to the fabric as well it needs to have no words on it um no theme like Christmas or Easter or anything like that because you don't know which country it's going to be donated to and they may not celebrate those types of things um and also no cartoons i.e um Walt Disney um you know Pixar anything like that it, it can have a design on but not really um anything that's uh copyrighted I suppose um yeah and I think that's that's everything but it so it just needs to be a bright and colorful fabric um nothing white um and nothing see-through either because that th they won't get donated unfortunately so yeah just colorful bright fabrics that have got some weight behind them so ideally cottons basically so yeah that is just my really quick brief video just to share with you the details of this challenge and then if you upload a photo onto instagram tag in mari um from mari sews on there she will then include your dress in the count um or if you don't have instagram you still obviously can take part in this and all you have to do is to either email her direct or send her a message um, and then she'll be able to include your dress in the count because it would be really good if she can sort of tally up how many she's got for this month so yeah that's where i shall leave you for now i'm sorry it's short and sweet i'm really sorry about the rubbish lighting in the room as well today i am filming on an evening um, i'm not wearing anything me made by the way i am wearing a dress i'm still in my <laughs> my dress from work today um but yeah so that uh, is all I wanted to share with you right now I will also list in the description box below as well I think a, a link for um the vlog hop tour so you can check out everybody else's videos and see what dresses they've been making as they may come up with some other patterns that um you may not have seen or heard of before um and hopefully you will be able to um take part in it but thank you very much for watching today and I shall see you again soon take care bye